What is up, Novus Vids? This is Raz here, and today I'm bringing you guys an exclusive gameplay breakdown that will only be featured on this channel. The gameplay that was submitted is from one of Novus's very own, Griff. So yeah, let's get into it. <sighs> Awkward silence for the load screen, you know. <laughs> As you can see, uh, he's playing with some pretty well-known people. You see Campy there, Invincible, Eli X. Off the start, Griff is going to push towards the jump up. Um, I like this play. He's got a teammate pushing with him. And right here, they're in a good position to push. And they take out, he throws some really nice nades and takes out the guy behind their uh, rock. But right now, you can see that he's got a teammate with him. And they should push this guy that's caught on the jump up. And they take him down. So right away they're up 2-0 to zero and he's pushing into their base. It's really important that he stays alive here because the longer you stay alive, the longer you're going to be in a stra uh, distraction in their base. So he stays alive, he gets behind Likely and his teammate's able to take him out and he gets Eli X, catches him off guard. So right now they're up 6-3 to three, and a lot of that is because of their aggressive play style. Um, off the spawn, he knows that his team's on rock side, their rock side. But he is weak, so he's gonna hop into ring and he's gonna wait for his shields. Oh no, he's not gonna wait for his shields. See, in a position like that where you only have shields and you know they're on, they just spawn sniper. You need to get your shields back before you even look because they will catch you off guard like that. Uh, he, cut, he got caught by some snipes, but he sees that Campy's pushed up in their snipe and he's gonna push with them and they team shoot that guy and they get the good kill. So right now he just needs to stay alive and he's doing a really good job of that. The note right here is that him and Campy are doing bait and switches in the hut. Um, one of them will start shooting them and they'll just wait for the other teammate to come in and finish the kill. Uh, but he noticed that Campy died so he pushed back into ring which was a really smart play but unfortunately uh, there was a guy's jump up so he got taken out. One really important aspect of any game type on Sanctuary is that you need to make sure you're on the same side of the map as your team. I'm not talking about their base or your base, but really just um, if you're on your car side or their car side, you just need to make sure that you're on the same side because it makes team shooting a lot easier on this map. This is that his teammate's stuck in the rock, so he's going to push over to help him, and they, he gets a nice kill on Invincible. So right now he's on, he's, you can see he's on the side by himself, so, but Camo did just come up and he gets a nice kill on the guy. Bonfire pushes up, takes that guy out for the double, backs off, which was a really smart play because he puts himself in a really good position. He's got Camo, he's got his teammates coming off spawn, and right now they're going to try and get him in a spawn trap. When you're one shot, I suggest not going down to bonfire because people do throw those nades and they will kill you. Especially when you're one shot, you got kind of lucky there. I like the sneaky beaver play going into the hut. Hopefully you can get this back smack. Oh. Yep, got the back smack. Double back. That was a really nice play. He flanked around and he was able to pick up two really easy kills. Alright, so we're about halfway through the game, and blue team is being very aggressive. Red team hasn't set up on their side at all yet. But now we have Griff moving his way towards Carr, and he's helping out Campy finish the kill on the guy that was their jump up. Put some good shots in the guy across the map, but unfortunately he was taken out. Oh, those are some good shots by the other player. Off spawn, uh, Griff is going to push towards Carr. But he's by himself right now, and he sees that he had a teammate just die across the map, and he knows that his teammates are going to spawn hot because he's over there. So this allows him, him and his teammates to push this guy in car and put some nice shots. But unfortunately, his teammate got taken out, and they weren't getting the, they didn't get the kill. But all around, he stayed alive, and he did the right thing. He waited for his teammates. He sees that his teammates are pushed up on the other side, so he's going to try and push and help and put shots. But he did the right thing. He saw that two people were looking at him. He's just going to stay alive here. Um, it's a nice kill, unlikely. And, and he was taken out by Eli X, but it was a two-on-one situation, and he did trade. And trading's important in those situations because you didn't just give them a free kill. Off spawn, we're going to see that Griff is just going to miss that jump unfortunately but uh 
it's really important that when the game you're only up by seven kills right now and it's getting we're getting closer to the end of the game and you need to make sure that you stay you don't let the other team back because if you let the other team back in the game they're gonna they're gonna gain confidence and confidence leads to shitting and when they start shitting that would be bad so Griff's gonna jump into ring here and try and help his teammates out he sees that um, one of his teammates pushed over to ring and Campy's pushed up on their health pack so he's gotta switch sides cause he's on the wrong side of the map right now it's it's hard to team shoot across the map because of the rocks although Griff is trying to help his teammate out right here he puts himself in a terrible position and he just gets naded there are three enemy players in the rocks and they all had a decent angle on him. Um, instead, he probably should have just stayed in ring and maybe flanked through bonfire because all of their all of their team was focused on the guy, his teammate that was already under a car. So this might be the first time that red team's actually gotten in their base. And what he's doing is exactly what you should do. You need to make sure you kill those guys that are trying to get in your hut because if they get in your hut. Um, we're about 10 seconds away from the next sniper. You don't want the other the enemy team to get away with your sniper because the sniper is a power weapon and you can pick up some pretty easy kills with it. We're closing in on the end of the game here and blue team is just going to swarm the hut for that last kill which is really smart. And I thought Griff did a great job sticking with his team and putting nice shots in people but there were some situations where he could have stayed alive a little bit longer enabling his team to help him. A little more, but they did get the win, and good job, Griff. For more Halo content, be sure to check out uh, both my channel and Novus, and make sure you subscribe to both of them. And look for another one of these vids in two weeks, and make sure you submit gameplay to me. Um, I'll put a display in the video which will show you how you can submit gameplay, and maybe your gameplay will be featured in the next episode. So, um, enjoy your week, guys. Bye. Interfered with our affairs for the last time. Sinatra. I am literally in the air right now, wrapping up a store. This first class, I am so new at this. Used to ride a metro, let us hit this retro. Like the infrareds on my feet, baby, let's go. Sinatra, what they know me by, logic, what they call me. Gotta catch a flight, but the fans wanna stall me. Life of a dawn, change just gone.